sports fans, Emma Harrington here back in the jungle to watch the Jags as they look to maintain their number one ranking against number two, the Pearl Pirates. I expect to see some hard-nosed football tonight. Uh, the Jags have got to control the ball and uh, play good defense and uh, just uh, limit the turnovers and we'll, we'll come out on top. A crowd of over 8,000 gathered Friday night at Madison Central when the Pearl Pirates came to town in a number one versus number two showdown for dominance in 6A football. The crowd was electric. The pageantry unrivaled. Holiday wants to run it. Holiday's got the first down and more. He'll break free. He's at the 40. He's out to the 50. He could go all the way. Jimmy Holiday down the sidelines. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jaguars. Jimmy Holiday. An 81-yard touchdown run for Madison Central, and they go on the board first. By the way, who is this guy, and why is he faster than Jimmy? What's his 40 time? Somebody signed this guy up for the combine. Number 23, Kenyatta Harrell, did not wait long before he put the Pearl Pirates right back in striking distance. The 5'10", 180-pound senior was a stealthy weapon the Pirates unleashed. A third down and 11. Kenyatta Harold. now they're going to pitch it back. Here comes the Jaguars. They'll nail Gunner right as he's hit. Jaguars bit on the flea flicker and into the end zone goes the Pearl Pirates. Jimmy Holiday's going to run it. Holiday's got some room. He's off the corner. Down to the sidelines. Five. Goal line. Touchdown, Jaguars. A 50 yard touchdown run by Jimmy Holiday. The Jaguar celebration would be all too brief as the Pearl Pirates once again seem to have no problem moving the ball down the field. They're going to feed Harold again and Harold trying to get something up the middle. He does and he'll go in, spins in, untouched for the touchdown. Once again, the Jaguars didn't have time to hold their heads down long. Gunner, the fullback, two tight ends in the ball game. Now he moves him to the left. Holiday with Duke Arnold off his left shoulder. Holiday wants to run it. Holiday going to get the corner. Holiday fights his way inside. The touchdown, Jaguars! The MC student section looks ready, and the television stations better get ready, because the Jags are about to get busy. Jimmy Holiday with Duke off his right shoulder. First and 10 from the Pirate 48. Jimmy Holiday pump fakes, throws it. He's got a man wide open downfield. Pass caught! Number 19, touchdown Jaguars! Jimmy Holiday, he'll break a tackle. Jimmy Holiday to the 20, Holiday to the 10, 5, touchdown!
Touchdown, Jaguars! The Jags remain victorious for their fourth week in a row, finishing the game with a score of 34 to 21. First of all, we got to get well. We got some players hurt, and then we'll just go back and work on the stuff we feel like we're good at, and just get a little better on everything. Just trusting my old lines and trusting them to make big plays, and I'm making the big plays off of them. It was hard, but you know, my team do what they do. We come out and we play hard. We fight. All us pass for this. When you win this game, you get your momentum, and um, and we're glad to have the bye week. We're going to use it to get that momentum. Next week, the Jags take a small break, but they'll be back on Friday, September 27th to face off with their longtime rival, the Clinton Arrows, at 7 o'clock. This has been Emma Harrington with JNN.